What's your opinion about organic versus non-organic? Do you eat organic stuff? The nutritional value is no different. I, I, and what about what about contaminants or amount of toxins in it because oh, of the herbicides and pesticides? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'm going to address this briefly, and then I'm going to turn it over. Uh, 99.5% of the tests that USDA does are very clean. It's well below mm -hmm. uh, the tolerances EPA sets. It, it, your food is safe. Now, if you want to cherry pick the data, which is what some of the folks have done, that they call it the dirty dozen, you can go in and rework the data. But if you want to use EPA's Safe safeguards, which is 100 to 200 x safety factor, then your food is safe. But you can read anything you want. And I'll <laughs> that, y'all. Jessica, you go. Um, I actually I was googling some stuff last night because I couldn't sleep because I have an almost two year old, and um, <laughs> there I. <laughs> <laughs> like Kaiser Permanente, that's a big deal. I remember they're all over the Pacific Northwest. They still have misleading information on their website regarding uh, organic pesticide and it being healthier for you. Whole Foods talks about the myths surrounding all of this, and it gets to the bottom on whether it's more nutritious or not. They address like whether some kind of a crop can produce polyphenols, but they never address whether it's more nutritious or not. It's seriously a wash. I believe after seeing and being a part of growing both that you know soil health depends on your inputs as a farmer um, and in some cases the organic farmer's soil might not be healthier than a conventional um, farmer's soil it's just about your inputs and about you, how you treat it and the crops so nutritionally I don't I don't think there's a difference at all um, we consume both in our household. It's kind of what's available. Um, and my daughter has a special, she's on a special diet, like dairy-free, potato-free, no additives, things like that. So I'm shopping. I'm glad I knew this before now, just shopping consciously about it. But um, I just, I don't, I, there's no difference between the two for me. And as Jim talked about it, the dirty dozen, Look, if you're going to grow the dirty dozen to sell in your main grocery store, then they're going to be have, you know, residue on them, whether they're commercial or conventional or organic grown, just because those types of crops are more intensive on their inputs to get something to market that people aren't going to go get squeamish at. You know, nobody wants to see bite marks or brown spots or things like that on their produce. So um, that's the, the biggest limitation i think 